Welcome to my guide to sniping, and by sniping I don't mean the no scoping and rush like techniques that the egg hoggers use, but rather the patient and subtle tactic of real sniping. Throughout the guide we will cover many different points of sniping and give plenty of examples, and hopefully by the end you will be a truly elite sniper. First off, let's give you a bit of useless background that will help you understand exactly what it is that a sniper does. The bird known as the snipe was a very popular delicacy in England. However, the bird was elusive and rather difficult to catch. So hunters that were uniquely skilled at killing these birds were called snipers. Snipers would hide up to hours waiting for the right moment to shoot a snipe. They would even stalk the prey. As such, your sniping will be the same. Please know that this guide is meant for team deathmatch only and possibly sabotage if you tweak some things. If you wish for me to create a search and destroy one or any other game type, please just ask and I will consider it. But you cannot snipe without a sniper rifle, now can you? Obviously not. So let's pick your poison. Of course we have five choices, the M40A3, R700, 50 caliber Barrett, M21, and Dragonoff. You can't use all of them, so let's narrow your options down to one or two. We'll start with the Dragon Off. It's semi-automatic, has high damage according to the stats page, and it's rushing as well. Well, not exactly. All snipers do exactly the same damage. However, their multipliers for headshots, neck shots, and torso hits vary. The Dragon Off has decent multipliers, but not the best. As for the semi-automatic capabilities, uh, well, not so great with the large recoil that it possesses. That Dragon Off is not your best choice. Next we have the R700 with a seemingly massive damage ratio you would think that it's the best right. Wrong. With absurd recoil, 4 bolts and a clip, bull action, terrible accuracy, etc etc. It is just not a nice weapon to use. And don't forget that all snipers do the same damage. That brings us to the M21, my personal third choice of the bunch, semi-automatic with very little recoil and a pretty nice sound to it. Sadly, the awful multipliers require a second shot way too often if your aim isn't that good. However, the accuracy of the gun helps that. So should you use it? Well, yes and no. Not your best option, but if you like it, you can. After that is the 50 caliber, with gigantic bullets, super kick, great look, and just a mammoth of a gun in general. It must be pretty good, huh? And yes, it is pretty great. Nice accuracy, best multipliers out of all the snipers, and appealing bullet penetration. But it is very loud and bodes a humongous recoil, so it's your choice whether you like it or not. Finally, we have the M40A3, with a brilliant design, pleasant sound, perfect accuracy, nice penetration, good multipliers, and so on. It's easily my personal favorite. There's really not much else to say, it's just a great gun, and I would highly recommend using it as your main sniper. In conclusion, it all comes down to your ability to get headshots and your personal preference. Any of them could work for you, but you'd more than likely do best with my top three. And for pistols, well, never use a deagle and always silence your pistol, but I'll talk more about that later. Now that you've decided on which sniper you want, you probably think you're ready to start popping mad domes, right? Well, not quite. There's still perks to think about. We'll break it up by category. Slot 1. It's really just a choice between claymores, RPGs, and bandolier. Claymores are great for a personal bodyguard to watch your back, but you could always just take the time to do that yourself. RPGs are good for helicopter counters and blowing up groups of people as well. However, I would only recommend bandolier for the most elite, or worst, snipers. 45 bullets is a lot to waste in one life, and you may find that you pick up ammo while you snipe, and never end up needing too many bullets anyway. However, if you survive a long time every life, or aren't the greatest marksman, this may be the right option for you. Slot 2. And here, stopping power is really the only reasonable choice. 
UAV jammer is absolutely useless as you'll be firing an unsilenced weapon most of the time. Don't even test out any other perks, just trust me, you'll want the damage boost or the sure kill. Unless you're playing hardcore team deathmatch, then the choice is really just yours. Next, slot 3. Personally, it's a tie between extreme conditioning and deep impact for me. Extreme conditioning is good for getting to your spots quickly and out just as fast, but deep impact is nice for an extra bullet penetration and a more trustworthy sniper. But never use iron lungs. At first glance, it may seem like a perfect perk for a sniper, but it isn't even close. By the end of this guide, you won't need more than a couple of seconds to line up your shots, so just forget about it. It's useless. Okay, now that you're geared up, let's go over the basic strategies and tactics to use in the field. Number one, make use of your ghillie. You'd be surprised how well you can blend in at certain places, and how easily some people will miss you in awful places. Staying hidden will save you plenty of deaths, and provide you with some extra kills as well. Number two, do and don't be near your teammates. They will attract attention to you and make for a barrage of grenades to be thrown at you. They can also block the way out if you're trying to escape. But don't think that they're landmines waiting to go off. Despite their seemingly constant stupidity, some of them can actually hold their own and provide a strong defense for you. It's up to you to decide whether you want to be with them or not. Number 3. Alternate spots. I really can't stress this enough. You should have at least 2 or 3 good spots on each side of the map that you like. Switch between them every 2 kills as a good sniper is the most annoying thing in the world and you'll be the other team's first target. Keep them on their toes and make sure they, they're never 100% sure of where you are. At number 4. Check targets with your pistol. If you see a spot in the grass or a strange shadow on the wall, always shoot at it first with a silenced pistol. It'll tell you if it's an enemy or not and save you firing a shot and alerting the other team. Number 5. Communicate with those idiots that you call teammates. Let them know where enemies are that you can't really hit, especially if you're playing with friends who will listen to you. Number six, never take a shot that you can't hit. The old saying, no one to hold them and no one to fold them, is, applies to both poker and sniping. Only fire when you're positive that you'll hit the target. Be very, very picky about it. You don't want to waste a bullet and give away your position. Number seven, never move while aiming and firing. Even the slightest tiptoe can set your shot off target. Remember to stay still at all times. And those are the basic rules to follow in the field. And you better follow them. Trust me.